All right, then, guys. Today, we're going to be doing another Lord of Sequel Light challenge. And the challenge I'm going to be doing today is going to be called Bugbear. So, Bugbear is a bit different from the other Sequel Light challenges that we've been doing because this time it's actually filtering out substring ASCII equals or and spaces this time, like what we've been using and OX. And if you guys don't remember, in our previous video, we used the uh, hexade hexadecimal representation of admin to get pi bypass this. But it looks like OX is being um, filtered out, so we have to find a way to we have to find a way to get past this for the most part. And one way we could get past this OX mark is by simply using the in operator. Oh, I guess one way is we could not use like and equal because like that's how we've been doing our previous queries when like uh, when ID is like admin. That's what we've been using except of ID is equal to admin. So how we could bypass the equals or like is by using the in operator. We could use the in operator, in operator by doing something like um, where ID, in this case, is where ID is equal to guess. But except of using this, we could do where ID in, where ID in, and then inside this in, we could actually put what we're trying to find, which is admin. And I had, I mean, I used ChatGPT for this for you guys to get a better example. So this is right here, the in operator in MySQL, it used to check if a specific value matches any value set of a subquery. So right here, they have an example of using the in operator. So we have the column name is in value one or value two. So for example, you have a table called users. You want to retrieve information about users with specific IDs. So you can use it in the end operator like this. So let's see. So select all from users where user ID is in one, three, and five. So this query return where the ID is either one, three, or five. So you're getting the idea. So we could return something like where ID in, we could right here just paste in admin. So it'll be treated almost like an equal sign. Almost like that if we only put in one value in. So that, that's basically what we're doing so far. And then for the spaces, for the most part, we'll just replace those with simply tabs which will solve this challenge for the most part. And yeah, and I guess I'll show you guys my, uh, what I did. So let's see, bat, oh yeah, I'll just put this in full screen. Bat, cat, bugbear. So right here we have, uh, I guess, what we are like basically the same, exact same thing that we have for the most part. But this time we we're, we added a tab right here. The or is still valid, the length of pwn, now we're doing the length of pwn is in, if the length of pwn, which is gonna return the size of, of pwn, of, of not pwn, of, P, of the password, if the size of password is in, and then we, right here, we're just putting the actual numeric value. If it's in inside, if it's inside here, that means that uh, that will return, I guess that, that will return our length of the password. That's basically it. And then right here, simply is, I same thing as last time, one tab, or ID, if the ID is admin, is inside admin, so return if ID, and it says right here, like if we check it right here, oh, uh, oh, this came out nasty. Let's see if I could do something like this. Bat cat, bat cat, no. Mm. Uh, if ID, so oh, if I if I D in admin, so right here, where it says right here, this query return where user ID is either one, three, or five. But in our case, this query is gonna return where ID is admin. That's basically what's going on. And then we do an and statement. And then with this and statement, we're just gonna get this is gonna return every like we've been doing last time is checking at every position of of the password. So right now it's starting at zero, for the most part. Or no, starting at one, the first, the first uh, letter in the password. So let's assume the first letter of the password is like what seven. So it's checking if it's inside this right here, and then after that, we're just simply turning this char value because this is just basically integer values, like last time. And then, but we're just turning them into actual uh, uh, character values. So we're just checking if the character inside the very first position. So we will start at one. So the very first character and password, which is I'm assuming it's seven, if it matches or if it's inside this uh, very first character that we're putting in, which is 48 and 48 in uh, ASCII, 48 in ASCII or ASCII, yeah, 
or 48 in the decimal is basically zero in ASCII. So that's basically what's going on for the most part. So, yeah. So that's basically it. And we'll, and like if previously, we, we used ORD last time, Sophie. I think it was Dark Knight, though. So, yeah, last time we used ORD, but this wouldn't be valid anymore. Reason being is because if we go back right here, we see that ORD is being filtered out. So if you put something like ORD, let's say if ORD was inside here, we'll get he he. So that means that's filtered out. So that's why we don't, we're not using ORD in this case. And then like last time, if we use this query, for example, it gets filtered out as well. You know, I guess I'll show a space. Oh, wait, uh, let's do like A space B. If we add spaces, filter out as well. That's the only reason why we we went the other approach. And then also, I guess showing like being filtered out as well. So we just type in like filter out. So we, that's why we're using the in statement and and the tabs as well. So yeah. So if we just run our program bugbear not pi, we're just waiting for this. And I'll just yoink the example that it gets. Okay, pass. So that's probably this one. So I'll just grab this one. And then you'll see what, what's happening right here. So right here we have. So this is going to be return false. And then after this, we're going to have. Oh, yeah. This is going to return false. And then we have this or statement. So And we want to check the length and pwn in eighth. So we want to check the length of pwn is in. If the length of pwn, let's say, is eight. And now eight is an eight. Because the the value eight is an eight, then it's gonna return hello admin. Now we're just waiting for this. Uh, we'll just yoink one of this this one. We we'll yoink this one. So that used to explain even further. Sorry, right here. So this is gonna be false. Just everything on the left side of this or is gonna be false. But then we have ID and admin. So ID in admin. So we're checking if the ID in admin. So we're checking if ID is an admin, which is going to return, like I said, an ID where it matches to admin. And then we're checking the position at four. So let's say the four, if four, this is going to return a C. And since C is in C, it's going to return true. And then we just add that to our uh, password, password list. So this should be the password for the most part. So if we just simply type PW, let's delete this and then we just type pw equals that specific value oh wait uh i think we just turn this lowercase d and then c oh oh uh yeah uh let's go it's still represented as uppercase but lowercase and then just find space and then we get bug by clear. The only reason I did the D underscore C is because I, I guess SQL is kind of weird because it accepts uh, certain values to be true. Like, uh, like yeah, there was, it was in the previous challenge too where like um, if you just type uh, admin, it will accept that's true. Like with like if you were to do like uh, ID is equal to admin, it will accept that's true or like admin like that it'll still be true even though like the actual physical value is admin basically but anyway yeah that's how you solve this challenge for the most part i'll link down below my code that i use to solve this challenge anyway that's about it peace